Bragg and others. We'll be right back. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into a depression. Don't be dependent on the government for you and your family. You need to get your own supply of high-quality storable foods from eFoodsDirect.com. They're the best company out there, the longest continually operating, with a ton of great food to choose from. It's all fresh, made on a monthly basis, not some old cruddy food they're selling you like some of the other guys. Try their new evacuation pack, a two-week supply of delicious, easy-to-fix food. It comes with all the equipment you need to prepare it. With open talk of a strike on Iran in the next three months, the crisis in the Gulf, and possible evacuations, get yourself and your family ready today. The place to go is eFoodsDirect.com. Go to their website online right now, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or call 800-409-5633. Again, on the web, eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex, or give them a call at 800-409-5633. You may be arrested and or subject to other police action. Tyranny is here. The grim future foretold in 1984 has become reality. It really says that the state is God. The United States is now recognized globally as one of the most oppressive police states on Earth. This film conclusively proves the existence of a secret network of FEMA camps now being expanded nationwide. This documentary exposes how the continuity of government program has established an all-powerful shadow state. Police State 4 chronicles the sickening depths to which our republic has fallen. Prepare to enter the secretive world of emergency dictatorship. Body scanners, sound cameras, citizen spies, stage terror and cameras on every street corner. It's only the beginning of the New World Order's hellish plan. The police state isn't coming. It's here. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or see it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. From the front lines of the information war... It's Alex Jones. I haven't even gotten in to the point that in Texas they've now admitted that, oh, they take all your baby's DNA at birth and give it to the Pentagon, and the Pentagon gives your local community money. And they act like, oh, uh, you know, the, the headline is, State of Texas bartering your baby's DNA. They're not bartering it. It's a 38-year-old secret global program. But the media never reports on the full story. They go, okay, it's true. The conspiracy theorists are right. They're storing your baby's DNA. Now, look at this CNET news story, top news story on Drudge. We just posted it, linked to it up on Infowars.com. Feds admit storing checkpoint body scan images and it says the federal marshals have a Gen 2 machine hooked in and at one airport, 40,000 images. Uh, it says that uh, they boast that it can be operated remotely and the Gen 2 detection engine capability uh, is stored with your name and your naked body. 360 scan is then transferred to the federal uh, marshals and they have a naked body scan of your children, your wife. Isn't that funny? I mean, imagine if the cops grabbed your wife off the street randomly stripped her down and took color photos of her, you'd go crazy. But they run you through the airports and do this, and it's A-OK. -okay. Paul Watson, this is incredible. Well, I mean, the shocking thing about it is that the fact that these images produce clear 
you know, visible shots of genitalia, and you've got children going through these. In the UK, they make you go through them. You don't get a choice. And it breaks child pornography laws. And, you know, a lot of these kind of people that work for the TSA and airport security have been habitually caught abusing their power. And many of them have been caught using these naked body scanners to harass their own colleagues. So you've got the worst possible breed of individuals running these machines. They completely violate privacy. Um, and they produce radiation at 20 times the dose we were originally told. Columbia University reported back in June that they were placing millions of people at risk. Well, so I want to be clear. They give you cancer. That's mainline scientists and universities. They lied from the beginning about what the machines are even for. They're designed to get a naked 360 biometric scan of your body. And the, from, the, from the inception, the Electronic Privacy Information Center got the documents that these devices are designed to be deployed in a way that allows the images to be routinely stored and recorded, which is exactly what the Marshall Service is doing. Uh, 35,314 images stored just on one machine in Orlando, Florida, from the airport. Everybody run through that at that one airport, 35,000 plus stored. It's totally illegal. The criminal, degenerate, murderous Homeland Security lied to everybody and said they weren't. From the beginning, they were doing it. Just like they lie about why the fluoride's in the water when their own documents say it's meant to sterilize you and give you cancer. Just like they lie about bisphenol A and now admit it's sterilizing us and giving us cancer. I mean, Watson, we've got to wake up, even myself and you and everyone, just how murderous and lying and criminal they are. They are complete scumbag criminals, and they have a bunch of dumbed-down fluoride head, TSA cops and others. They'll do whatever they're told, and it's total evil. They're bathing our children in radiation in the naked body scanners. They're saying they're going to have a mobile on the streets of America to travel. They've got dumbed-down, brain-damaged cops pulled from the general public running it. They all think it's funny. They're a pack of total scum. Well, the good news is, I mean, there's a revolt against these body scanners. Due by airports that they're not getting them. And in uh, Idaho, you had that bill whereby they would throw them out and not allow them in Idaho. So if people lobby their governments at the state level, then we can get these thrown out. And then if there's a boycott of the airports that do continue to use them, fewer economic forces will drive them out of existence. Absolutely. If not, they're going to put them in the shopping malls, on the streets. Uh, at the public schools, it's all been announced. They've gone in in courthouses all over the country. They run small children through them. Uh, in the case in Denver, one protest and, and pointing out it was illegal to scan g children's genitals. They have now don't scan children. Again, they want to train you to let the police take your blood at federally funded checkpoints. That goes in DNA databases. Nothing to do with drunk driving. They're just setting the precedent of medicalizing the police to carry out the medical tyranny. And again, police, you've been assaulted and poisoned. Most of you are going to die young of cancer. You're brain damaged, just like everybody else. You must understand the government is run by murdering criminals who hate you and your family. You must join us now. Wake up out of your mind control. I mean, Watson, do you understand why I'm so frustrated how this is just all out in the open? It's all completely evil. Bloomberg reports that every major insurance company is now stealing people's death benefits when their husband or son die in Iraq. They're stealing everything. They're admittedly doing this. They're stolen tens of trillions. The country's going under. We're going into a depression. The carbon taxes are meant to shut our economy down. India and China don't have to do it. It's just total evil. Don't people get that this is not a frontal military assault. It is a covert scientific dictatorship where they announce the vaccines, the naked body scanners, the GMO crops, everything with a, with a front cover story. But it's never that. And we've analyzed their attack profile. I always know exactly what they're doing. And then I can, ran, and then I can search what my mind already comes up with and read the exact words they've written because I know the enemy that well. I knew it was a biometric 360 shoot because I'd seen it 10 years ago. Boom, they admit it is. I knew it was being stored by the federal marshals who were over the air marshals. Boom, it's now admitted. I knew it was massive cancer increases. Boom, now admitted. I mean, they get to fry you. They get to... 
to train you to be a slave. They get your biometric scan, and then they criminally, viciously, hatefully lie the entire time telling the public in the last year that they weren't saving it and that it didn't give you cancer. They are murdering scum. People have to get this. They're murdering you with soft kill with the radiation. You don't die there on the spot. You die 10 years later. They're murdering you with the food. They know what they're murdering, murdering, murdering eugenicists. They are murdering, murdering criminal government. And now all these sheriffs and all these prominent people are coming out and saying, we have a criminal government. It's waging war against America. We have a criminal, yes, we have a criminal, 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 murderous murder government. I mean, just to the murdering trash. They're murdering all of us, and I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of all the dumbed-down cowards that go along with it. Watson. Well, it's all out there in the open. I mean, we've passed that stage, but... Now the problem is, as you said, people are ingesting and bathing themselves in this neurotoxin, sodium fluoride, that removes their aggression, that makes them docile and compliant. That's why the communists use it in the gulags. That's why the Nazis used it in the concentration camps. And uh, really the battle now is about just making people look up from the stupor of their own controlled brainwashing, which is why, as you've been doing recently, focusing on what people are actually putting in their bodies and the effect that that has. So and it's by focus. design. You know, countless comments and emails I get say, well, I know it's admitted that bisphenol A sterilizes and give us cancer. I know it's admitted that fluoride's doing it. I, you know, I know it's admitted that they're coming out with vaccines that brain damage you by design. But you know what? They're just doing it because they're greedy. No, they're doing it because they are greedy. They want to get rid of everybody. And, Watson, I really appreciate you joining us. Let's get some reports out on this. Let's get Steve on this as well. And let's just point out that we, a year ago, and repeatedly since then, have written articles with, with, with the documents that are now being reported on by CBS News and CNET that we told everybody and that it's even worse than what they're being told. You can just search... We found it again last week, guys. What was the search I told you to find where the clothing companies are using biometric scans for tailoring? And then that's really being used as a biometric. See, that's how they trick you. Oh, step right in here. We're going to give you a good fit. Meanwhile, that company's real business isn't just selling clothes. It's getting your biometric uh, fingerprint of your body. And it's the same thing with this. It's the same thing with the airports. It's meant to train you to be humiliated. Because you'll put up with your children being naked body scanned. You'll put up with anything. It's meant to give you cancer, and it's meant to be stored in these databases, and the government lied about it. I mean, when do they not lie, Watson? Well, you can tell when they're lying because their lips are moving. And they state they want to get rid of us. It's on record. Watson, thank you for joining us. Thanks, Alex. I mean, I'm here watching them slow kill us. I'm here watching their stealth death. I'm here watching them... And I made that video that became the number one search term yesterday, thanks to you again, the number one search term in the country, brain-eating vaccines, brain-eating vaccines. That's something a layman could understand, and that's what it does. But the media is like, oh, it reprograms. It changes your DNA, which is a technical term. It goes in and attacks the neuroreceptors so that when, you, when your brain gets threatened by something, it gives an order for hormones to be released by the hypothalamus and the thyroid and uh, other things so that you can then get geared up to defend yourself. But they're saying that's abnormal. All of you are sick. This is all over the news. You need a shot to make you happy. You're not going to be angry or nervous anymore. When you pull up to that police checkpoint with their naked body scanning you and taking your families away from you, when your preacher's up there telling you, go to the FEMA camp as they've been trained to do, clergy response team, don't worry. You're going to have this shot and you're not going to be worried about anything anymore. You're not going to be worried about becoming homeless. You're not going to worry about being euthanized down the road. You're not going to be worried about anything because the loving vaccine has cured you of your humanity. It's literally killed who you were. It's turned you into a biological robot. Do you realize it's 2010? Let me ask you this question, then we're going to your calls. 800 years ago in medieval England, they were incredibly oppressive, dominated the public, kept the public on about 5% of the land through feudalism to keep them near starvation as a tool of control. They wrote manuscripts on it all over Europe. 
Same thing with the uh, Shogun and the Japanese Samurai. Same deal. They told you what time to go to bed, what to wear, what to do. Uh, samurai would routinely.